Now I'm going to walk you through encounter number 12, the dais of the dead. Let's come take a look. So we start here in a simple hallway. It's a floor with two passage wall pieces and then enter into a big 12 by 12 room. This whole thing sits on one terrain tray, if you like it. Um, one of the first features people will notice is these ossuary arches on the sides. So these are these little freestanding, beautiful little freestanding sculpts. Uh, they sit right in the, uh, the arch, nestle right in there, sit very cleanly. You could put them against any of your regular dungeon walls if you like, something like, something like that if you wanted to dress up your regular dungeon wall. Um, and these are, they're sculpted to match our resin catacombs line. So you could use these to transition into the catacombs or just to make your dungeon creepier or whatnot. Uh, so then in the corners we have, each of these are our new corner LED pieces. This is a modular LED socket so you can swap in the serpent orb, the LED wall orb, or any of our previous wall-mounted LED elements like the torches or lanterns or claw hands and the like. Uh, so we've got four of those, one in each corner. Uh, we've got a pair of open arch walls. This one has a solid wall in it, so it looks like a regular wall. You can slide this open as a secret door if you want. One of the stretch goals this will get are the bars insert, so you can insert it use it as a portcullis. In this case, we're using it to transition into Encounter 14, the Cree Colony. And then the center of the room is dominated by the dais of the dead itself. So this entire thing is built on an 8x8 floor. Uh, it's a big, massive 8-inch piece. It's got under, under each of the four corners, it's got a hole to use one of our new uh, column posts. You can peg in a column post underneath and it will raise the whole thing up to one elevation height. Uh, so it will be the height of a regular wall. Um, then on top of the floor we have the dais. So the dais is made of these straight outside corner pieces. Uh, it's got straight dais pieces. On top of these, we have these little stair jacks. So in this state, they work as platforms that you can use to rest a mini on if you need to put a miniature on the stairs. But you can also invert them and use them as stairs. They step you up to, uh, to this dais height. They're very handy little guys. And then in the center, we have a full dais platform. It's a two by two platform. This height, you can use your stair jacks to get up to it if you'd like. And then surrounding this, we have these four one by one elevation uh, pillars. And these are the same height as an elevation block. They'll raise up on the floor, they raise up the exact same height as a wall. And the top of these will each have a pole accessory hole, and we have four very cool pull accessories that you'll get as a stretch goal. We don't have them in hand yet, but they're going to make this room look dynamite. And this is the dais of the dead. Beware.